Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got something pretty interesting, which is a type of motor called the Sterling engine. So in this video, we're gonna unbox it, take a look at it and actually run it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get started. All right guys, so I'm pretty excited about this thing because it is a functional motor and even though it's a toy, it is quite unique and interesting of how it operates. So the one we got here is from a company called, I guess, Juno Star. And it is a Sterling engine with a generator, I guess a little motor that generates some power. So that's pretty interesting. So here are some of the features that it has. We got a light up LED. It's fun to watch, easy to operate, elegant machine, science and art combo. And it is all solid metal construction. So on one of the sides here, we got a little bit more information about it. I guess some maintenance here, lubricating the moving parts. And on the back here, it kind of tells us the history of the Sterling engine. Let's go ahead and open it up. So right away I can see that it looks like this company does have different sorts of Sterling engines and you can see the little pictures here. And it looks like some other gyro products there. So all right, well it does come with a user manual that talks about all the parts and pieces and maintenance. Another paper here that says, can you see me? And there's more information on how to maintenance the engine itself. So a little pamphlet here that shows more products from the company. And this is what we see right on the top here. So looks like we do have a little, not sure what this is called, but I guess you suck up the fuel with this thing. It's like a little box with things in it. Go ahead and open it up. Got a couple Allen wrenches. And it looks like in here we have the the glass container that holds the fuel looks like brass top couple leds an extra glass i guess replacement piece for the motor and the wick itself well i guess there's a few of them actually so as they consume you have extras to use all right so let's see what else we have in here we got a couple brackets here look like some kind of feet or something okay so the sticker here actually shows us that these are clamps to fasten the motor to like the edge of a table. So the best part is on the bottom there and it's the engine itself. Let's go ahead and pull it out. So it looks like it's already all pre-assembled. And look at this thing guys, it's a piece of artwork. So everything is metal. We got the generator here. Pretty thick, large base on the bottom. Glass tubes, all aluminum build with the brackets and everything. And the flywheel back here also is all metal and quite heavy. So this is what we see underneath. We just got some foam pads, they're not even rubber. So this might jump around a bit. But yeah, overall very nice and solid construction. And we got a pulley here that connects to another one to the generator. And as this spins, it spins the generator. And I guess we can hook up the LED light here. So since I've never had a Sterling engine, I'm not too familiar with it, but I know that once you have this tube on this side heated, and so it builds pressure, there is a little pass through here that exchanges with this other chamber here. And as the pistons go back and forth, and this is what creates the constant movement between both of the pistons as they exchange the heat back and forth. So that's probably a terrible explanation of how this thing works, but in any case, I think the best thing to see here is it being an actual operation. So let's go ahead and grab our little container here. It actually sits right there so we can see how it works. 
before we do anything we do need to put a wick in there so let's go ahead and thread one of these through the top of the cap and so the fuel you'll need is alcohol unfortunately it's only 91 percent i'm hoping it's going to work but i think anything 95 and over is recommended now we'll see how this works let's go ahead and use this tool here to suck it up so we're just going to push on it and then let it go and it should suck up a pretty good amount and then we're going to put it into the container here so this thing's not working very well it must have a leak in it because right when i grab it it just all comes out so yeah in any case, that's about halfway or so. I think that's enough. So let's go ahead, move this out of the way. We're gonna put the wick in it. And that should draw up the liquid to the top or the alcohol. And we're gonna set it right here, right underneath this glass tube here. Let's see, I guess we'll keep it like this. All right, so after that, we just need a lighter to light it up. Hopefully this will work for us. And sure enough, it does light up. I think it does need to heat up just a bit, but let's go ahead and see if it'll start up. So we're just gonna simply spin this flywheel back here. Okay, it's trying to go, but let's try it the other way. No, it's definitely this way. There it goes. Well, maybe not hot enough. Let's try again. And away it goes. Wow, it's really quick. So yeah, it's revving up a lot quicker than I thought it would going crazy actually but yeah at this point we got a running engine just from the flame here that's really cool i almost feel like it's going too fast maybe it's actually vibrating and i guess this is why they uh included these clips to clip it to the table so it doesn't vibrate around in circles but that's pretty neat and you guys are probably not going to see how fast that is because the frame rate of the camera and, and you just can't tell but yeah Judging by the noise, I think maybe you guys could probably hear it, but I'm gonna bring my microphone in. Our 91% alcohol is burning very well, surprisingly. So let's put it out and see how long it'll still run without the flame. Okay, slowing down, slowing down. It's still running. It's quite impressive that it's still running. Okay, now it's really slowing down. All right, so yeah, it looks like it took about 30 seconds or so, 20, 30 seconds for it to rev down as the heat went away. So yeah, very cool. And uh, we, yeah, we didn't really burn that much alcohol running it that whole time there. So and that was for a few minutes. So the one thing we haven't done yet is we haven't put an LED in here, which it came with two pieces and they look identical. Now I'm not sure if this is an AC generator motor or a DC, because if it's an AC, we could technically put one diode each way. But if it's a DC, it would only be one way. So I guess we could have tried it while it was running. So maybe we need to do that. So let's start it up again. So it should start up a lot quicker this time. Well, maybe not. Give it a few seconds to uh, heat up. Almost there. And there we go. All right, let's see. You guys might not be able to see this as I'm trying it. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely a DC motor because I put it one way and it actually bogged the motor down. Okay, yeah. So it's definitely a DC motor that's creating the electricity. And if I stick this LED in it and give it a load, it actually slows it down a bit. And you guys can probably see that the LED is actually an RGB one, so it changes color. So yeah, it'd probably be a good idea to solder that. And it did actually come with two of them, and I'm sure they're both RGB. So because it's generating power, the motor now is kind of slowing down because it's doing work. But nevertheless, it is going and working and producing power. 
So yeah, it looks like it's going to be vibrating slowly in circles. But yeah, guys, so as you can see here, this thing is really neat. If you've never tried a Sterling engine, it's a pretty cool little toy to play with for sure. So if you enjoy nerdy things like this, this is a very, very cool thing. And even as a gift maybe to someone that you know that would enjoy something like this is an excellent idea. And the great thing about these things is they're not too expensive. This one here, I think I picked up for about 40 bucks or so, maybe 42, I can't remember. But you know, they're all pretty much in that range under 50. So, you know, if you got an engineer or any kind of mechanical field, I think they would really enjoy this thing. And if you have children that are interested in motors and physics and how things work, I think this would be a great little example here of a concept that I guess kind of has been forgotten, which is the Sterling engine. And I'm not sure if Sterling engines ever been used in anything more substantial than just a toys, but at least at this time, you know, we do have these pretty interesting toys and this just shows the uh, era of when development of combustion engines was very creative of the older industrial pastimes. Alright guys, well hopefully you enjoyed this little video of the Sterling engine. If you want to pick one up for yourself or even give a gift, I'll leave some links in the description so check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this and other things I do on this channel, then stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.